Well, let me introduce myself. I'm Edward Devere. You might know me better by the pen name Shakespeare. My people are the oldest British nobles in the mix. We came with Will I Am the Conqueror in 1066. I was maxing and relaxing outside Castle Headingham when a couple of things went down with my fam. So I was raised in William Cecil's house. That guy was stiff as wood. Satirized him as Polonius as only I could. Big library and a daughter named Anne, and he was pretty much Elizabeth's Game of Thrones hand. I was married to his daughter, Ophelia, I mean Anne. It was kind of rough and rocky, and before too long I ran to travel Italy and France, knew the languages of courses. That's how I read the untranslated works that were my sources. And while I was in Venice, saw a painting of Adonis, and just like in the poem I wrote, he wore a little bonnet. On my way back home like Hamlet, set up on by pirates, left me naked on the beach like him, this isn't rocket science. At Gad's Hill, my mates and I robbed the Queen's receivers, just like in Henry IV, part one, and you're still non-believers. The bed trick has now become theatrical cliche. Well, it was pulled on me, and it's in four of my plays. pound annuity from QE1. That's like a million bucks a year today. That's right, son. Didn't have to account for what I did with the money. So let me fill you in, cause it may seem kind of funny. At Fish's Folly gathered university wits. Mentored Lily Monday Nash and Green, a playwriting blitz. Let a literary movement brought the Renaissance to Britain. Revitalized the language with the plays that I had written. Taught Brits about their history, bolstered national pride. At a time with queen and country under threat from all sides. Wrote the plays and poems and sonnets, didn't even get beheaded. Named be buried where my body is cause I don't need no credit. Nothing is truer than truth, which is... Why has he always got a drag ass into it? I don't know, but it's hurtful. It really is.